All right, so now our next mission is to develop a character. And this character is going to be monster-like. It's going to be alienistic. Uh, here's what I don't want. I do not want to make this into a huge anatomy thing where one student knows a lot of anatomy and the other student knows absolutely nothing of anatomy. And then we lose focus on ZBrush altogether. Okay? I believe anatomy as an instructor should be a whole different class um, in ZBrush. There's no doubt about it. Here I'm just introducing you to the tools and showing you how to uh, meld things together. And then, you know, as, a, as another class, that would be somebody um, should definitely go into an anatomy course and just learn anatomy from actual drawing or whether it be clay or whatever that is. But we're going to focus on fictional anatomy and have fun with this character. So that being said, everybody's at their own level now because if I if I take it into fictional anatomy, all the students are at the same level. And that's why I like doing this because if I take it into human anatomy, um, what's going to happen? Well, one student might own the other student. I might be better in anatomy than the, the next person. Um, we're all at the same level now because there's no wrong or right answers for this. So that's why we're doing this. Now, developing a character, you know, I could use that dummy that I was doing before, or if I need to make really big changes um, on the mesh, you know, I could go back to my Z-Sphere model, okay? So, in this case, I'm going to make some really big changes, probably, and in that case, I am going to have to rely more on my Z-Spheres than anything else. All right, and we're going to look at like the character, how to dress it up, you know, maybe some armor, you know, the accessories and everything else. So it's going to be a rather big lesson. There's no doubt about it. But um, I, I'm just going to give you a few examples of this. You know, what I mean, I'm not going to fully clothe this guy. It would take absolutely forever um, on video real time. But I'm going to walk you through some some of the major things that you have to kind of worry about as far as uh, at what stage do you do what. Okay? All right. So in the next video, we'll get started. So have a Z-Sphere character ready. If not, I provided one on the, the lesson files. It's this one. So we'll get started with it. And that's going to be uh, lesson 11. So enjoy. Enjoy.